In industry, machine uptime can be critical, and that's no different when using collaborative robots. If something unexpected happens, you need to know so that you can address the issue and get the machine running again. Automated systems can run unattended for hours at a time, which can be wasted if the system is sitting in an ESOP condition without anyone knowing about it. Today, we're going to take a look at network connectivity with universal robots. Specifically, we'll take a look at a way to have the robot notify you if something happens like an e-stop by taking advantage of the Modbus server on universal robots, along with some excellent technology from Moxa. We can set up email notifications triggered based on specific events. Let's take a closer look at how that works. All right, so the first thing that we'll want to do is go to the setup robot button, and then we'll go to setup network, and then we're going to set a static IP address. Uh, for this example, we'll use 192.168.0.5. And we'll go enter a subnet mask of 255, 255, 255.0. So after we set the static IP on the robot, we're going to want to connect the controller to the Moxa M gate. Now that we have the mGate connected to the universal robot, we can go ahead and open up mGate Manager, do search, broadcast search. And then we'll go ahead and click on our mGate, go to configuration. Uh, we need to operate in RTU master mode, disable ProCom, we'll go to network. We need to change our IP address to match the subnet of the robots, we'll use 192.168.0.10. Our subnet mask and gateway can all stay the same. I'm not gonna bother setting a password either. Under serial, all these already match what we're gonna be using. And then under Modbus routing, uh, we need to add our robot as a slave device. So we'll go ahead and add our robot at 192.168.0.5. TC port, P port 502, uh, slave ID start one, and end one, no offset. We'll hit OK, and then we're not really going to change any of these other settings. We'll hit OK, and it'll send the configuration down to the M gate, and it'll restart. So we can move our Ethernet cord over to the I/O logic, and to configure that, we'll open up the I/O Express utility. Um, to do that, we actually need to use a offline configuration. So what we'll do is go to device configuration, add configuration, 2512 is already the unit that we're using. We'll hit OK. Uh, under general settings, you can change some of the other stuff. We're only going to change the daily savings time and the name of the server. Uh, so we'll go to network, general. We're going to disable the server socket timeout. We'll go to LAN. Uh, we're going to want to be DHCP um, for our connection type. Uh, next, we're going to go to serial port, port 1. All these settings are already identical to the M gates, so we'll go to Modbus serial tag setup, change the timeout to one second. Uh, we're going to want to set up our tag, e stop. Data type is word, device ID is zero. We're going to use function code 4. Low byte and high byte is fine, and our start address is going to be 262. That's added up there. So now we'll go to C and G plus components. We'll go down to email, and this is where we set up our email settings. So we'll change it from Gmail to private, no encryption, authentication as login type, IP your gel, mail.smtp2go.com, 2525. Our username is urtest, and we'll enter the password in as well. All right, now that that's set up, we can go to the recipients. We'll add myself as the recipient here. Add that as an email, and now we need to generate our email. Um, email zero is fine for the name. The subject will be you are cell, you stopped. Sender name, you are from, we'll just use a generic email name. It doesn't have to be a functional name at all. Emergency stopped. As of. And you can really enter any 
message here. We're going to go ahead and date stamp, date and time stamp this entry as well. So we'll add that up. Um, so now that we've got our tag and email set up, we'll go to click and go plus. So these are just quick if else then logic. So we'll go to condition zero. We'll do a comparison of a serial tag, e stop. Uh, when this is equal to one, then the robot's in an e-stop state, and then we'll go and do an active message, email, email zero. We'll send it one time every time that happens. So we'll go to device configuration. We'll export that configuration to file. Uh, we'll just write over this existing one. And then we can go to online device management. We'll start an auto search. We found our device. So we can now is actually log into we'll log into it from the mass deployment. Um, so we'll click on that. Our username is admin. And our password is Moxa by default. The configuration file we just built is tutorial config. So now we'll hit submit and upload that. So once this is complete, we'll power cycle both units and we should be ready to report emails.